All right, Greg, it's a new day, and we have uh, new orders from the governor. Uh, response from School District 2. Greg, what's happening? Well, you know, we anticipated Tier 2, and that's where we are, and that's what we asked. I asked our teachers to plan, building administrators to plan for that. So it's business as usual for us. Now, what does business as usual mean? Well, what we're finding is parents are needing more and more support in how to support their children at home, which is what we fully anticipated. So in my noon uh, broadcast, Facebook Live broadcast, I'll bring on a teacher uh, and one of our teacher leaders tomorrow to assist our parents with maybe how to organize their day and the material moving forward specific to elementary. We'll focus on elementary, middle, and high school as we work through this. But And then we're continually building resources for all of our students with exceptional needs and those types of things. So I tell the public again and our parents, please reach out to the schools if we have not had contact with you. My building principal said, our building principal said yesterday that they feel that they've met about 95 to 98 percent of our students and our parents. So feeling good about that. Okay. Um, obviously now we're into April, so uh, several more weeks ahead of this, and and do you just keep moving on? What's the what's the process now for you to look now forward that you're at level two? Well, you know now I introduce the concept, uh, the the conversation about proficiency. And that's my biggest concern now, is what will be approaching time. The time variable is, are our students on grade level? Are they ready to move to the next level? Those are the questions that I'm asking our professionals to start to define what does proficiency look like specific to the course they're teaching, the content, and or the grade level. Okay. Uh, again, any other outreach uh, coming your way? Biggest questions that are coming your way from either the parents or the students? You know, the biggest question was, are, is, the, is the closure going to be extended? Yes, the closure's been extended. You know, now the question is, what do you think about the end of school? I don't know, I, I appreciate what the governor's doing. He's taking this in two week increments. Um, this, the, the closure through April 10th follows John Felton's directive for Yellowstone County. I'm supportive of that. Being consistent is critical with that. But I think it's just, we're still watch and wait um, but we are preparing and having conversations about if this closure would extend through the rest of the school year.